Hey, I'm Tywan Hubbard and we're back with another test video. And in this video, we'll be testing the Zontox Hydrogen Water Generator. Uh, this system uses PEM or SPE technology, which simply means that it will produce hydrogen water independent of source water conductivity and source water type. So whether it's distilled water, RO water, spring water, tap water, the system will be able to uh, produce and dissolve hydrogen gas within that water. Uh, now we'll be doing this test video in two parts. Uh, first, I will test the water basin, demonstrating that there is uh, no dissolved hydrogen gas or the presence of dissolved hydrogen gas in this water. And then we will uh, put the basin on the system and then run the test for the device uh, and uh, measure the dissolved hydrogen concentration of the system. Uh, so first, before we do that, I want to explain uh, the reagent we'll be using is H2 Blue. This is uh, the most simple and convenient uh, reagent that you can use to measure dissolved hydrogen concentration in your water or for, the, or for detecting the presence of dissolved hydrogen within the water. Uh, they're similar to pH drops um, and to kind of explain the test, um, this, uh, um, it comes with a graduated beaker uh, and uh, you will fill up the water to six milliliters um, and the meniscus has to be above six milliliters. And then uh, the actual reagent uses methylene blue and colloidal platinum to react with hydrogen gas within the water. Um, and each drop from H2 blue counts as 0.1 milligrams per liter or ppm. And so you can simply count the drops. Uh, 10 drops will equal 1 ppm, 20 drops will equal 2 ppm, 30 drops, 3 ppm, uh, and so on. Uh, and so first what we're going to go ahead and do uh, is measure the water. Uh, measure or see if there's any uh, dissolved hydrogen within uh, this water. It's just simply tap water that I, that I got from my sink. So, put a drop or two in here and we'll demonstrate that there's no hydrogen gas within this water. And then we'll go ahead and Take this basin and put it onto the system. And run the test on the actual device itself. Turn the unit on. And let that fill the reservoir. So we'll let it run for a little bit, uh, make sure the system gets flushed uh, from any uh, water that was uh, on the post side of the electrolytic cell. Um, so we're actually going to measure uh, fresh hydrogen water from the device. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our sample and fill this up to six milliliters. Okay. Turn the system off. And Go ahead and measure dissolved hydrogen in this water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. This would be two point five ppm. 26, 27, 27, 28. So it looks like the device produced 2.8 ppm of dissolved hydrogen gas within the water, um, which is really good. Uh, our 
our uh, recommendation standard is 0 0.8 milligrams per liter of PPM that it has to be able to produce consistently. Uh, this is kind of what's seen throughout scientific literature be uh, effective for the human body um, within human studies uh, to actually produce therapeutic uh, effects. And so the device uh, performance um, uh, is above our base standard. And so this is the test, the dissolved hydrogen concentration test for the Zontos hydrogen water system. So catch us at the H2 Hub next time.